This video is for the Drip Depot three quarter inch head assembly kit for two zones. The first item in the kit is the Y faucet connector. You will want to check and make sure that there is a washer in the connector. The Y connector is the first thing connected to your hose faucet. You want to hand tighten the connector to your faucet. Do not over tighten as this can crack the Y faucet connector. The second item in the head assembly is the backflow preventer. You want to check and make sure that each backflow preventer has a green washer in it. The backflow preventer is then attached to the Y faucet connector, one on each side. And again, make sure you hand tighten the backflow preventer. Do not over tighten. The next item is the canister filter. You will also want to check and make sure that there is a washer inside each filter. The canister filter can be open, exposing the screen inside for cleaning. We recommend that you clean your filter often. There is also a cap at the bottom of the filter that can be unscrewed, which comes in handy for flushing out your filter. The filter is then attached to the backflow preventer by hand tightening. Do not over tighten as you could crack the filter. The next item in the head assembly is the pressure regulator. You want to check and make sure that each pressure regulator has a green washer in it. If there is not, check your box as they may have fallen out during shipping. You will hand tighten the pressure regulator to each of the canisters. The last item in the head assembly is your hose swivel adapter. To use the fitting, screw the nut back. Push the tubing over the barb. Then screw the nut forward. This locks the tubing into place. The hose swivel adapter is then hand tightened to the pressure regulator. This connects your tubing to your head assembly. Once you have done each side, your three quarter inch tubing two zone head assembly is complete. As you can see, each side is roughly 12 inches long. So it's a good thing to keep in mind when planning out your system to make sure you have enough clearance around your faucet.